Easy money. There are only fifty yuan left now. No more twenty yuan ones. I'll take two. There goes one hundred yuan. Today, I'll let the shop owner pick out one thousand yuan's worth of lottery tickets for me to see how much I can win. The one thousand yuan worth of lottery tickets are ready. Let's see how lucky I am today. The first one, oh, doesn't win. Next, the second one, doesn't win either. Next, this one wins twenty yuan. Put it aside. This one wins ten yuan. Good. Next one. This one also wins ten yuan. Next, doesn't win. Next, last two tickets. Oh my God! Looks like nothing again. Last ticket. The moment of truth. Ah, nothing again. In the end, the woman spent one thousand yuan, took about eight minutes scratching, and won six hundred ten yuan, losing a total of three hundred and ninety yuan. At a time when nearly every industry in China is experiencing negative growth, with many malls and eateries closing down, there is one sector that is bucking the trend. Amid the economic downturn, this industry in China is unexpectedly thriving. It's probably not hard to guess which industry this is. Yes, it's the lottery business. According to data from the Ministry of Finance of the People's Republic of China, in the recently concluded year of 2023, China's lottery sales astonishingly soared to 580 billion yuan. Data from the Chinese market research firm Mob Data shows that over four fifths of the customers are aged between 18 and 34, a significant increase compared to 2020, when customers of the same age group barely take up just over half. Strolling through the streets and alleys in China, it's not hard to notice the increasing number of lottery shops in malls, supermarkets, and subway stations. These outlets. Especially around the counters, are often surrounded by groups of young people eagerly scratching lottery tickets. Particularly on weekends, these shops are bursting at the seams with young patrons. Scratching cards of various denominations, such as five yuan and ten yuan, are attracting numerous young people, much like multi mystery boxes, prompting them to eagerly spend their money. Some buy a ticket or two for a casual scratch, just for fun. Others buy by the book, even dozens of books, in hopes of winning big. In this video, a young woman who used to win 300 yuan from scratch cards was inspired by videos on Douyin, or Chinese version of TikTok, of people buying whole books of scratch cards and winning big prizes, igniting her dream of overnight wealth. She decided to try her luck. Initially, she spent 600 yuan on a book of 30 scratch cards, finding the process quite tiring with only a small coin to scratch with. She explained she scratched horizontally because of a rumor that this would increase her chances of horizontal fortune, a lottery term that translates to wealth from luck in Chinese. The lottery vendor suggested scratching with an ID card. Jokingly say that this would let the god of wealth know who to award the prize to. She was scratching until her hand felt numb, and finally, adding it all up, she won three hundred and ten yuan, which means she lost two hundred and ninety yuan. Not giving up, she spent another six hundred yuan on one book of tickets, but won even less than last time, winning only three hundred yuan and losing three hundred yuan. In total, she lost 590 yuan that day and decided that she would never dream of winning the lottery again. She can still be considered more rational among other gamblers. In 2023, Chinese media reported the story of a woman in her 20s spending 30,000 yuan on scratch cards, taking five hours to scratch them all. This topic sparked discussion on rational lottery purchasing. Regardless of people's discussions, lottery shops in China are still multiplying rapidly. Since the second half of 2023, three new lottery shops have opened near the Beijing Central Business District alone. A search on a mobile app within a 1,000-meter radius reveals as many as 12 lottery shops. 
with increasingly sophisticated setups. For instance, a China sports lottery shop located in the B2 food court area of Beijing's Hopsun One Mall features bright, spacious design and interactive customer tables. It also includes easy-to-use touchscreen betting terminals. All contributing to a luxurious shopping experience. Now, cities are seeing the emergence of lottery coffee shops, which combine the sale of lottery tickets and coffee. These shops, with names and signs carefully designed to appeal to the younger crowd, they have slogans like "American dreams come true," "A cup of coffee brings good luck," "It's good to have dreams," but what if they come true? To attract young consumers, the owner of a Beijing Changyingtian Street B2 lottery shop, Mr. Wang, mentioned that instant lottery tickets are the main revenue source for his shop in the mall, accounting for over 90 percent of sales, mostly purchased by young people. My shop does the best business on Saturdays, with daily revenue reaching 20,000 yuan. For the Hopsun One shop, during peak times, sales can hit the 100,000 mark. In 2021, the China sports lottery started to explore new channels by opening more modern outlets in major urban commercial complex. By the end of October 2023, the nation's first sports lottery plus Heidi Lao store commenced operation in Beijing, making it possible to buy lottery tickets while enjoying hot pot. So, why are young people in China so keen on buying lottery tickets nowadays? An 18-year-old freshman in China's Communication University Film Department, Wu Zihao, shared with Bloomberg, "It's so difficult to make money now, no matter what you do." Wu Zihao mentioned that since winning 100 yuan during a recent holiday, he has been spending 30 yuan on lottery tickets daily. He added, "You are more likely to become rich through the lottery than through work." In this video, a man who once managed to not lose any money on his 2,000 yuan worth of scratch cards decided to go big this time. He's going to buy 10,000 yuan worth of scratch cards. After hours of scratching along with some other young people, they tallied up the winning amount to be about 6,000 yuan, with a loss of over 3,000 yuan. Whether it was his positive attitude or his wanting to save face in front of a camera. He laughed it off, saying, "A loss of over three thousand yuan. Not too bad. Not too bad." Compared to a twenty-year-old woman from Xi'an, known by the pseudonym Xiao Fu, who lost three hundred thousand yuan, this man's loss of just over three thousand yuan does indeed seem not too bad. Xiao Fu's story, which was reported by Chinese media in November 2023, revealed she had become addicted to scratch cards. With her record spending in one day reaching over seventeen thousand yuan, including one single card that is worth one thousand yuan, she said, "I felt nauseous from scratching. My mind went blank, but I couldn't stop my hands." From August to October, in just three months, she has accumulated debts amounting to two hundred and fifty thousand yuan. Apart from the sixty thousand yuan borrowed from friends, she owed a significant amount to various financial platforms and banks. Xiaofu said that during her period of addiction to lottery tickets, she was fully aware of her addiction, but couldn't wake up from the dream of overnight wealth. Not wanting to give up and driven by greed, she continued to buy tickets despite being consciously aware of her mistake. Now she has deleted almost all photos related to scratch cards from her phone's gallery. Xiaofu reflects. Only after waking up did I realize the cost of my actions, and I hope no one follows the same path. In 2023, visiting temples became a popular activity among Chinese youth, many of whom came to pray for job opportunities. Later, when the scratch card craze started, some people even knelt and scratched cards in front of statues of the god of wealth. They're driven by the belief that sincerity brings spiritual power. What if the god of wealth happens to notice them? After all, in the current economic situation in China, winning a million yuan in the lottery is much more likely than earning a million yuan through work. Both the trend of temple visits and purchasing scratch cards reflect the confusion and anxiety of Chinese youth facing intensified social competition and uncertain economic and employment prospects. 
Many companies in China are laying off employees and reducing salaries, which further exacerbates the anxiety among young people. Companies often choose to lay off higher-paid employees in favor of hiring younger, less expensive staff willing to work overtime. During times of economic downturn and labor surplus, cheaper labor replaces higher-paid workers, leading to increased competition and anxiety among young people. Today's young Chinese can no longer enjoy demographic dividends, which refers to the increase in the working population's productivity. Yet the costs of housing, marriage, and dowries continue to rise, ironically driven by these very dividends. Despite years of hard work post graduation, many still find themselves broke. Now they can outcompete others for the advantage of age. So doesn't it mean that a few years down the line they will also be outcompeted by the generations younger than them? In a materialistic society where success is measured by salary and consumption, money has become a common source of security for young people. However, in reality, many struggle to secure even basic living standards, let alone wealth. Thus, young people caught between work and study turn to temple visits, seeking not divine intervention but emotional comfort and a change in luck, much like the uncertain accuracy of horoscopes. They find buying lottery tickets serves a similar purpose. Imagine being scolded by their boss at work and then passing by a lottery shop on their way home. If they win big, they can strut back into the office the next day, confidently telling their boss. I've won the lottery. I quit, and toss their resignation letter on the desk without a second glance as they walk out. Even though it's just a fantasy, doesn't it feel like a sweet form of revenge for all those times they've been scolded by their boss? Therefore, it can be observed that lottery sales in China inversely correlate with the economy. Simply put, when the economy is good and everyone has money, few people would buy lottery tickets. But when the economy falters, lottery sales would flourish. According to the China's Ministry of Finance, from January to November 2023, national lottery sales totaled 526.4 billion yuan, a 45.1 percent increase from the previous year. Compared to 2022, the total lottery sales were 444.7 billion yuan, with sales from January to September 2023 alone surpassing the previous year's total. Extending the time frame, sales in the first 11 months of 2023 already exceeded the record high of 511.4 billion yuan in 2028. Instant lottery sales from January to November 2023 reached 108.8 billion yuan, an increase of 52.6 billion yuan, or 93.6 percent, compared to the same period last year. A lottery shop salesperson noted, "Most of our scratch card customers are young people, for whom buying lottery tickets is as routinely as buying coffee. Just like coffee, Chinese youth have turned to purchasing lottery tickets as a routine pastime and a means of relieving stress." As the slogan of some lottery coffee shop suggests, "A cup of coffee brings good luck. It's good to have dreams, but what if they come true?" Buying a cup of coffee and a lottery ticket or two on the side isn't much more expensive than a coffee itself. Apart from offering a glimmer of hope to their uncertain lives and adding a bit of flavor to their daily routine, scratch cards have become a unique form of social interaction among young people. In lottery shops, it's common to hear exchanges like, "Want a scratch? I'll buy you one." Or while walking in a mall, you might hear young people say, "There's a new lottery shop in the mall." Want to try your luck? Let's go! It's on me. As instant lottery tickets don't require waiting, people can find out results immediately. Not to mention redeem money right away. Most winners of small amounts often use their winning money to buy more cards. Some even buy several books of cards and spend half an hour in the shop scratching. The most avid fans might spend tens of thousands on a box of scratch cards and stay in the store scratching away an entire afternoon. Lottery tickets have also become a favorite gift among young people. A lottery shop assistant mentioned, "Last year, we definitely saw an increase in people buying instant lottery tickets for weddings and birthdays. In the Dragon Year of 2024, 
Many lottery shop owners are promoting zodiac dragon tickets for 600 yuan a book. Each ticket costs 5 yuan and allows for 120 scratches, marketed as an excellent gift, perfect for annual meetups. In 2023, the story of a woman who received 100,000 yuan worth of scratch cards for her birthday from her best friend was trending on hard search for a while. This shows that for today's young people, lottery tickets have become not just a fantasy of overnight wealth during times of adversity, but also a new form of social interaction that offers blessings of good luck and relieves stress and anxiety. Chen Haiping, an associate professor at the School of Psychology, Beijing Normal University, shared with the South China Morning Post that lottery shops have become a social hub for young people. Here, they can find a sense of community through the act of scratching lottery tickets together. This comes at a time when China's youth unemployment rate surged in 2023. The Chinese authorities have seized the publication of such data. These young people, either unemployed or about to be unemployed, find solace in sticking together through praying and scratching cards. Although most people yearn to win, their mindset is more akin to praying to Buddha. Leaving the prospect of overnight wealth to fate. May I ask, have you ever bought lottery tickets before? Definitely have. Yes, when I'm in a good mood, I buy lottery tickets to reward myself, and when I'm feeling down, to comfort myself. I have. I have. Why do you buy lottery tickets? I like the feeling of scratching them. There are surprises everywhere, and sometimes it's also a way to let myself go. Winning is a surprise. Not winning is just life. It's all about the experience. When my best friend got married. I gave her 100 lottery tickets as a wedding gift. I gave them to a friend for her birthday, and she was really happy scratching it. Buying lottery tickets for a friend is like giving them a bit of hope. However, the credibility of China's lottery system has always been under scrutiny. As we previously reported, on December the second, 2023. A lottery player in Nanchang, Jiangxi, spent 100,000 yuan and won a prize of 220 million yuan. This incident, filled with dubious points, faced widespread skepticism. However, the incident appears to have had no impact on China's lottery industry, as data from China's Intelligent Research Consultancy data center indicates. According to the report, Intelligence Research Monthly Rankings, top 31 provincial and municipal lottery sales in China for January 2024, China's 31 provinces and cities sold a total of 57.6 billion yuan in lottery tickets, marking an 8% increase month over month and a 73.3% increase compared to the previous year. Of this, welfare lottery sales amounted to approximately 19.7 billion yuan, accounting for 34.2 percent of the total. While sports lottery sales reached about 37.9 billion yuan, making up 65.8 percent. The cumulative lottery sales in January 2024 were 57.6 billion yuan, with a national per capita lottery spending of 40.8 yuan. Guangdong led the sales with 5.9 billion yuan. Zhejiang was in the second place. Furthermore, Beijing has the highest per capita lottery spending at 72.8 yuan, while Guangxi had the lowest at 19.3 yuan. Actually, spending a small amount on lottery tickets isn't a problem, particularly when compared to the potential losses in the stock market. It's debatable which is more financially draining. But at least, like drinking coffee, scratching lottery tickets offers brief moments of happiness, stress relief, and excitement. It's not surprising then that for the young Chinese caught in a state of limbo, unable to lie flat, yet also unable to stand up, lotteries and temples have become a form of placebo, kind of like a chicken soup for the soul. In China, elementary school teachers often ask students to write an essay about what I want to be when I grow up. Many children write about becoming scientists, teachers, engineers, or company CEOs. However, after graduating from university, many young people without connections find their childhood essays to be ironic. Graduation equals unemployment, and employment equals fierce competition. Therefore, the lottery has become their only possible and legal pie in the sky. And temples have become a place of solace for those young people who lack any real faith. Is it a good thing? 
or is it a sad tale about Chinese society?